Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, I wanted to talk about a condition known as sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is basically uh, an age-related loss of muscle mass. And what prompted me to do this video commentary today was uh, uh, the New York Times uh, in their business section just came out with a, an article on sarcopenia and uh, what big business it is or going to be that Big Pharma is, is researching extensively um, how to combat sarcopenia, find drugs to combat it, talking about uh, the costs of sarcopenia to the health care uh, budget and so on and so on. And sarco sarcopenia is basically a, a major cause of dysfunction as people age. Now I wrote an article on sarcopenia, an extensive article in 2007 that really covers the the meat of this issue. So I'm not going to go into great depth of it here and you can go read the article uh, on sarcopenia on uh, my website on the Brink Zone. But what interested me was as, as usual the pharmaceutical industry is going to be looking for the magic pill to treat sarcopenia just as they have looked for uh, let's say the magic pill to to treat osteoporosis. Now osteoporosis is, is a big topic uh, but the fact is that sarcopenia is bigger than osteoporosis. It's more important than osteoporosis. Obviously, muscles are what put the mechanical stress on the bones to uh, keep them keep them strong, and it's a lot more complicated than that. But that is at least you know the the basic concept. Uh, a lot of people watching this are you know probably active and say, well, you know, I'm active. I don't have to worry about sarcopenia. But that is absolutely wrong. Uh, not being active obviously is a risk factor that's an obvious thing but it's interesting to note that people that have been active their whole life um, older athletes suffer from sarcopenia so it's not just being active that prevents sarcopenia it is a, a multifactorial multi-causal issue that has to do with diet has to do with hormones has to do with things like oxidative stress uh, has to do with infl uh, chronic low level inflammation has to do with types of exercise. Just being active is not enough. There are specific types of exercise uh, that are going to be obviously resistance training uh, compared to aerobics and other things. So I, I highly recommend you read my older article uh, from 2007. And um, it, like I say, I had predicted that uh, uh, this was going to be a big topic someday, and it's starting to be. And like I say, now the New York Times has grabbed onto it. Uh, and mentioned that basically Big Pharma and also some nutritional companies. I think they mentioned Nestle and others are are now looking into this. And you're going to start seeing a lot on this, just as you did with uh, osteoporosis. But um, as usual, I would say they probably uh, you know will miss the boat. They'll miss the uh, they'll look for the magic pill uh, versus the realities of the fact that you know human physiology is very complicated and it's multifactorial, and the means you have to approach the problem from a, a multi uh, a multifactorial approach uh, to combat it. Is it compatible? Absolutely. Um, but take my word for it, the younger, if you start, it's a lot easier to prevent than it is to treat. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't treat it at any age, but if you're in your 20s and your 30s, now is the time to really take a, a look at, uh, am I doing the correct things to prevent sarcopenia? And a lot of it is somewhat common sense, but there's a few things in there and some nutrients and such uh, that can certainly be uh, looked at more carefully. And I hope this uh, info helped. Uh, if you like it, please hit the you know the like button, Twitter, and all that to help me out. And um, I hope to see you guys on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building, nutrition, supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of articles and my free weekly newsletter. And I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone.